Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have this cute 3 3D card for you using the Freeze and Fun Cling Stamp Set. This is from the Stamping Up Mini Catalogue and I think it's adorable. But it is double double so for instance this tree here, that is one dimensional and stuck onto the back. This tree here has got one dimension on and pops up and this one here has got two on so it really pops up quite high and I think it's quite a fun little scene card. So let me show you how to put this together. I have used the raccoon, the big tree and the little tree as well. So I'm going to do some stamping and blending first. So I've got my memento ink ready. got my little raccoon so I'm just going to ink him up. I think this is just such a fun set. Um, stamp him. I also want one of the big trees. And one of the little trees. I'm not going to lie, the appeal of this set for me is the sentiment. Tis the season to be freezing. I love it. With a silly voice, of course. That's how it has to be said. New law. <laughs> so I've coloured in his scarf with Poppy Parade. So to do that, I have just gone over that bit like that. And that's the dark poppy parade. Oh, and the bottom bit of his scarf as well. Don't forget it goes all the way around his neck, like I was forgetting. And then the light poppy parade, I have just come in on the top and done a little bit of blending, not much, but just a little bit to soften the tone. Okay, for the raccoon itself I've used the dark and light smoky slate, so I've used the, um, yes it is smoky slate, I was holding it then and thought, was it the smoky slate? <laughs> so I've done every other ring on his tail, his cute little mask and his ears. Oh, and his tummy. Don't forget his tummy. And then I've just gone over the whole of him, including the dark bit, with the light smoky slate. He's so cute. I, I just, while I love the sentiment, um, and trust me, I, I do, I think the uh, little critters in this are just so adorable as well. And I have given him a light flirty flamingo nose. And then for his sled, I've used dark and light soft suede. So no sort of rhyme or reason, I've just done a few little lines in the dark which I'm now doing in the light because I'm daft so I'm just going to go over the top of that in the, uh, <laughs> in the dark and then I'm going to take the light pen and colour the rest in Part of the sled. Uh, 
and the bottom. And that's all I'm doing on the raccoon. For the tree, I'm using light smoky slate. Just to make it look like it's got a little bit of snow on it, because obviously it's a snowy tree and snow has a little silver glisten. And then the rest of it is in Just Jade, which is my new favourite colour for Christmas. You've probably heard me say that because I fell in love with this colour. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm just doing little blocks on the trees. Like that. And then I'm taking the light Just Jade. And filling the rest of it in and blending across. Once I've got all of those, I'm going to fussy cut them out and I've already done it so that you don't have to sit through me fussy cutting all of these bits and pieces out. So they're already there. Okay, and then I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is six and a half centimetres by nine and a half centimetres. And then I've got a piece of Poppy Parade that is seven centimetres by 10 centimetres. Okay, so that just sits on like that. And I'm going to add the little wee sentiment at the bottom. Wee! <laughs> it's just so fun. It really is a fun, fun card. So I'm just going to come in with my seal and adhere that onto the base. Okay, I'm going to pop this one flat down. Like I said, this one is just a matte layer. So while it isn't popped up like a dimensional, it will still have dimension on it because it is cut out and popped on. Okay, the little tree will go to the side of it with one dimension along. like that and then the raccoon is just off to this side and like I said he really pops out so I've actually took two dimensionals and I have stuck them onto each other to create a super fat dimensional whipped the backing off and I've just popped a couple of those onto him so he looks like he is really coming out of this card he's really high up and I'm just popping him on there to finish the scene so you can see that the scene there is really far off the card and looks really looks like it's coming at you it's a proper pop-up card then got a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is 10.2 centimetres by 14.5 and I've got my favourite sentiment in the world ever. Tis the season to be frizzen. I bet they have so much fun when they make these sets and come up with these like witticisms and things. I bet they have a right laugh. So I'm just going to adhere this flat onto the card. Probably would have been easier before I put my dimensionals on. I don't want to squish him. Okay, and I've got the 2020-2022 in colour enamel dots, which are very popular with me because <laughs> this is like the third or fourth pack of them that I've had to had to get.
interestingly, I use three colours the most because I've still got packs with the other two colours in. So I obviously have favourites and believe it or not, Just Jade is one of the favourites as well as um, Magenta Madness and Cinnamon Cider, which I never thought would be a favourite when I first saw them. I couldn't really see me using that one and I've used it loads. So I've just got a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I've cut in half to A5 side and then I've scored it 10.5 centimetres so this will fit on there perfectly and I'm going to stick it on flat. Again, it's just a bit too much dimension if I put this on dimensionals um, but I want the layer. So I could have stuck these directly onto the card but I like having that extra layer even if it's not popped up I just think it adds a little something so there's my card what do you all think thank you for joining me I think he is so fun him and all of his friends in the freezing fun set are available to purchase from my store slimandstylish.com go up to the header and click buy and anything that I have used on this video is available to purchase there I do put on regular content to my YouTube channel, so do please make sure you're subscribed. And if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and pop back soon. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.